Ladies and gentlemen, today we are continuing with my dude's career here in week six of the regular season. We're facing against Tennessee Titans. That's something that a lot of people forgot is that Blake Bortles is making his return today. Now, I noticed that I, not only me, but Chad Henney, we're leading in the NFL right now. I was like, look, yeah, we're good. I might be good. I don't know about Chad Henney, but... I think we're playing on way too many minutes, so I dropped it down to eight minute quarters. Before we kick off this game, I also decided, you know what, where it's we have to do drills, user catching drill. I wish there were more wide receiver drills that you could do. And as we started doing this user catching drill, I noticed that it is actually Blake Bortles out there, and my oh my, you don't understand. This is one of the reasons why I decided to come to Jacksonville, and the fact that Blake Bortles is back, looking healthy, just makes my day. So as of now, we're finishing with a silver. Look at this beautiful catch. The fact that I was able to hang on, it, that's the perfect way to end practice. Now, also, I decided to go ahead and do the develop yourself activity, which is going to give me from 352 to 400 XP. I went ahead and spent it on catching and also route running. And now I have 60 XP left. It is time to kick off this game against the Tennessee Titans. We got Leon Washington back there returning this one. And our offense takes over with about 7-11 remaining. And look at Blake Bortles already. A lot of composure in the pocket gets rid of it. Nice reception by Mercedes Lewis. On third and five, again, a boys the hit. And that is Justin Blackman. So we're already on the verge of scoring right here. And I got taken out of the game, but Toby Gerhardt did score the touchdown. So it's 7 to nothing. Now it is 7 to 7. The Tennessee Titans did tie it up. There goes my first reception of the game. Look at me fighting with the cornerback. Toby Gerhardt picks up about, what, like two yards on the play on second and eight. Blake, he's testing a corner going deep to me. Ah! Good coverage right there. Blake. On third down, this time I think that is Cecil Shorts. Five for eight so far, 78 yards, and my mistake, that was Mercedes Lewis. Can he avoid the sack? Blake Bortles. My, oh my, he got rid of it just in time. On second and 10, our backup tight end checks into the game, and he makes this one 14 to seven. Now, we ended up getting the ball back with about 47 seconds remaining. If we score another touchdown, we'll be setting records for Jaguars because we are not used to scoring this much in the first quarter. But the game gets taken to the second quarter. Look at Blake Bortles once again avoids the sack. Got rid of it. Someone is hurt on the play. I'm hoping it's not Blake. I'm hoping it's not anyone on my team. And it ended up being Mercedes Lewis. He's holding his leg, which is not a good sign. So we ended up selling for that 24-yard field goal. We take over right here. About five minutes left. Blake once again. Ayers is right there to take him down for the sack. Now I'm out of this play right here. Second and 17. That is a good sign because Mercedes Lewis is back in the game. Third and 11. We need to convert here, and that is exactly what I do. Pick up a first down and more. 11 for 16 and a touchdown. But that right there is. Why Blake Bortles initially got hurt in week one. It's not what we want to see. So if we can avoid those sacks and protect our quarterback, that's what I want to see right now. And there goes yet another reception for me. As we continue on, I'm left wide open. A tippy-toe catch. And I'm just short of a first down. So, so far, four receptions and 50 yards. I'm averaging 12.5 per catch. I'm going to change the play up right here. And this is one-on-one. -on -one. I already got off of him. Throw it. And he does. An easy touchdown. So that is halftime for you guys. The score is 24-7. to Our offense is on another level today. Look at this. We're leading in every single category. And let's take a look at Blake Bortles' stats. 15 for 20. Quarterback rating of 139. And so far, he has thrown two touchdowns with zero interceptions. So we're looking to do the same thing in the second half. We're going to run the ball a lot since we are up by a lot. And Toby Gerhardt right there. Nowhere to go. On second and 11, I get yet another reception right here. We're just short, though. So I get taken out of the game. And we kept on moving the chains, man. I don't know how, but we are doing it here today. 
against Tennessee on the road too. On second and eight, play action. We're gonna test the corners once again and I could not hang on, drop pass on my end. And here on third and eight, as the pressure arrived, he kept his composure, got rid of it, and we are going to have to settle for a field goal. So bring out Josh Scoby. The field goal is up. And it is right through the middle. It is now 27 to 7. The Titans ended up scoring a touchdown. So they are right back in it. They're only down by 13. Once again, we start off with running the ball. And he has already eclipsed the 100 yard mark. Toby Gerhardt, once again, that is a first down for your boy. Blake drops back. That is Cecil Short. He's been kind of quiet today. Second and four, I check into the game. I'm setting a block for Denard Robinson. Play action. I'm trying to free myself up, but you guys see, I'm I'm, I'm literally in seatbelts right now. The corner has me strapped, and once again, that is Cecil Shorts for 16 yards. Now, I get taken out of the game, and you can see we scored a touchdown. It is now 33-14. to 14. This game is basically over. Denard Robinson right here, he gets stopped. We could score another touchdown here, but wait, why are they even, why are they celebrating? And you see, I get taken out again once again. Gerhardt picks up yet another touchdown. The score ends up being 40 to 14. I don't even know what Jake Locker was doing today. Just an embarrassment for the Titans. A lot of pissed off fans after this. And I know this was a one game video. We will have multiple games in the next video trust me on that one you guys see some of the highlights of the day a lot of sideline catches for me and you guys saw that big touchdown where i just completely humiliated the corner just burnt them on the play and we continue i don't know if we have a streak going for touchdowns per game but as we go back to the main menu we are now third in our division it's not looking too bad for us and in the next video we will be playing against the cleveland browns it's your boy onto the boss and I am signing out.